Hey everybody, it's uh, Ia Patsy here. I'm coming in here to do a little reading for a uh, Valentine's Day gift to show my appreciation to everybody. Uh, we made a thousand subscribers last week and that number is growing so I want to thank everybody for helping out, for the liking and sharing and uh, subscribing to this channel, to both channels. So um, I wanted to try to get something out for you for, uh, in time for Valentine's Day, uh, even though I'm going to be doing your love bite still, um, I wanted to do something else. I had ordered these cards. I didn't think that they were going to make it in time, so I uh, decided to use some cards that I had and I hadn't opened as yet. Uh, I've had these for a while, and these were the Magical Mermaid and Dolphin cards by Doreen Virtue. All right, those Oracle cards. So I figured I could use them with the Romance Angel oracle deck and then maybe I'd be able to use a uh, tarot sexual magic so far so good seems like it's working uh, and as you know as it would have it the uh, thing that I ordered the, the cards that I ordered did show up they came on Sunday um, and I just I don't know whether or not I want to use them in the manner which I originally had thought but I figured I might as well just fin finish this cycle the way I started it so that everybody is even and uh, like I said this is just uh, something so you can have something for the holiday from me and uh, like share subscribe all right so we can continue to grow the channel and our community if these messages don't resonate with you they may resonate with someone else you know okay so Scorpio this side is going to be for you, and this side is going to be for your partner, the person that you're thinking about, the person that you are concerned about for Valentine's, you know, whoever it is. All right, just somebody, something for fun. Um, so we're going to have one card each from the Romance Angel Oracle card deck, two cards from the Mermaids and Dolphins deck, and then we'll have three cards each of you from the uh, tarot sexual magic okay so let's see how it goes all right for you past life relationship was the card you have known each other before so this is either saying that the person that you're interested in is someone that you uh, knew from a past life or this could be someone that you dated before you were married to before you had some type of romantic relationship with before and they are coming back you have known each other before and the card for your partner you deserve love you are lovable okay so maybe the relationship didn't work out before and they realize that you are the person that they want to be with for themselves you know they feel that you are the love that they deserve okay let's see on your side from the uh, mermaids and dolphin cards by Doreen Virtue these are 44 card oracle deck it has a guidebook to go with it All right, these cards are you know pretty cute they're not gilded on the side okay uh, they're pretty good quality card they have nice artwork and uh, the guidebook has uh, contact information any of the cards that you are especially drawn to I guess you can get them to send you prints of the cards okay so that's uh, a little interesting to know published by Hay House in 2003 so who knows how long I've had these cards. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can get two cards. One first for you. Thank you. Treasure chest. Mm -hmm. And the next card is Healing Heart. Hey, sweetie. Okay. 
All right, so let's see if we can get two cards for your partner. Okay. We got. Okay, we got three cards for your partner. And it was Tranquility, Explore Your Options, and Make a Wish. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to make use Make a Wish as a center between your healing heart and treasure chest and their tranquility and explore your options. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see what treasure chest, treasure chest is talking about. This is for you. Okay, so it's got a lady there. The unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. So this young mermaid is uh, opening up that treasure box, like Pandora's box, I guess. But it looks like good stuff is in there. Her mouth is open, but it's just sunshine. She's in shock. She can't believe her, her luck. Excuse me. Mm. Your prayers for financial support have been heard, and assistance is here for you now. It comes in wonderfully unexpected ways. Remain in a state of gratitude that says that the money is already here, even if there's no visible evidence of it yet. When you feel grateful before the demonstration of supply occurs, it reveals your faith. And your faith is the energy that draws riches to you without delay. Affirm frequently, thank you for all of the support, supply, abundance, and money that you bring to me. I am grateful for these riches, which I use in divine ways to bring blessings to the earth. Your supply may show up in the form of money or may come in new opportunities, brilliant ideas, or gifts from others. Bless and honor heaven's gifts however they come to you. Your gratitude ensures continual overflowing abundance in your life very nice okay so you can manifest the abundance that you seek and the next card that came up for you in this reading on your side was healing heart okay <clears throat> Deep within your heart, you're aware of your healing abilities. Perhaps you've received feedback from others about the way your words or touch have heal helped them heal. By drawing this card, you're urged to take your healing work to the next level. You're also asked to purify your diet and thoughts so that higher frequencies of healing energies can flow through you. Okay, so it's adjusting your diet. Hmm. By opening to the next level, you notice a shift in the people or situations that come to you for help. You may find a number of healing opportunities increasing, or your clients may display a greater understanding of spirituality. Heaven wishes to support your healing work completely. If you'd like to further your education, working, uh, work in a healing center, if you'd like to. Further your education, work in a healing center, or increase your income. Just ask, and then be open to receiving. All right. Very good. So you have healing and abundance. Your partner got tranquility and explore your options. Okay, tranquility. <laughs> this card is asking you to take a break from your hurried schedule. So this is for your partner. 
Soaking or swimming in salty water creates a magical electrical energy shift in your body. The salt draws out emotional and physical toxins. Purchase sea salt from your local health food store's spice section and pour lots of salt and fragrant oils into your warm bath water. Be sure to immerse your chest and heart chakra under water as you soak in the tub in order to release toxic emotions. Burn a white candle near your bathtub. As you look at the flickering light, think about what you want. The white candlelight amplifies your thoughts and feelings, so think about your desires and not your fears. Let the salt water wash away any doubts that could block your manifestation. Ask the candle to illuminate your mind with faith and positive expectations. Enjoy this relaxation time and have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. Very nice. Tranquility. So your partner is being told they deserve love. Part of this love that they deserve is to some self-love. Take care of themselves. Okay? Explore your options. <laughs> All right. It's time to look at other possibilities. It's a good time to make changes. This is a baby swimming in the sea. All right, going towards that turtle. Sometimes we think this is the way it is. And we don't see other options. By drawing this card, heaven is asking you to question any situation you think can't be changed. Take a moment and pretend that a magical mermaid had granted you three wishes. You can have anything you want. What will you wish for? The truth is that almost any thing you desire is possible. And this card asks you to explore your options. At first, you might do so mentally through daydreams and nighttime dreams. Then it's important to turn those possibilities into realities by breaking them into small goals that you can accomplish today. When you explore new opportunities, the energy of the universe begins flowing in the direction of your dreams. Any step you take, no matter how small, will help you see options that you may never have noticed before. I say, very nice. Okay, so options after you, after they get some, you know, take do some self care, they'll have some clarity. And that make a wish card. This is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. I just talked about wishes and exploring your options. Right? So we'll take a look at the make a wish also, which I have placed between both of you. All right. Say an affirmative prayer right now, which means stating your desire as if it were already true. Thank heaven for this reality and feel in your heart and belly that your dream is actually a reality. For example, say, thank you heaven for whatever your desires are. I'm only grateful, I'm truly grateful for your continuous support. Now is a magical moment. Go into a quiet space, even if it's just for a moment. Close your eyes and imagine that your wishes come true. Feel it in your entire being. Then express thanks for this gift and release it like a helium balloon that goes straight to heaven. If you need to take action to co-create this wish, you'll be given strong and repetitive guidance in the form of feelings, thoughts, ideas, inner words, signs, visions, or dreams. It's important that you follow this guidance in order to bring the wish into physical form. I think that's a pretty nice idea though, for you to take a wish and blow it up into a balloon and release it into the atmosphere sounds like an interesting thing to do I guess it won't float too high if it's just regular air so I guess you'd have to get a helium balloon and just make your intention and then let it go much like lighten, lighten a candle so that's something else that you can do if you can't light a candle make a wish and release it with a white balloon 
and then let it go. So that is an alternative, and that's an idea. I like that. I'm going to try that myself, and I'll let y'all know how it works. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, tarot sexual magic. I get three cards for you and three cards for your partner. Okay. Three cards for you, three cards for your partner. And uh, the positions will be what you desire, what you fear, and the outcome. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Okay, so on your side we got the King of Cups, Five of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. So King of Cups, this is ultimate love, right? So that's what you're looking for. You're looking for someone who's going to take care of you, someone who is going to adore you. And I think that you're feeling that even though you're uh, beloved and you may not be together right now, that you know or that you're hoping that they're thinking of you, and you're on their mind. Okay. This king comes with abundance and uh, luxury and comfort and excess <laughs> and strength. Okay. But I do believe that you are on their mind even if they're not with you. They're longing for you. Next card is the Five of Swords, and this talks about embarrassment, okay, um, gossip. So this talks about strength, okay, and having to fight, maybe having to hold something off, hold some people off, backstabbing. Somebody giving somebody their behind to kiss, too. But you are afraid of this. You're afraid of what's going to be said. If there's going to be a scandal because of this connection between yourself and your loved one. But the outcome is Queen of Cups. A nurturing relationship with someone who cares about you, who is there for you, a love that makes you feel good, maybe doing a little, like I said, nurturing, mothering for this person, but this is something that's going to last a long time. Like I said, you all have known each other for a while, all right, and, uh, you enjoy each other's company all right and this person is ready to give you all the love that you want and they want you to take care of them too you want to nurture them and they want you to nurture them <laughs> so I think that that's gonna work out the fear that you have about being exposed well that may be a necessary part of this journey for a lesson or just in order to break whatever stalemate there is if there is something so that you can go ahead and have that relationship that you're looking for hmm could be just to tell you not to worry about what people think if you have to learn to do you go for what you want and don't worry about other people's opinions okay because they're going to have something to say regardless of what you do 
So you have to stay strong. Turn it back on the nonsense. Okay. So the person that you're involved with, the some person that you're looking towards, could be a water sign, which is uh, Scorpio or Cancer or Pisces. Okay, I have one more. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ooh. My. Okay, so for your partner over here. Okay. All right, okay. This is the Knave of Pentacles. I think this is talking about somebody who. You may have been waiting on this person for a while, but they snuck up on you. You weren't expecting this relationship, and you certainly weren't, wouldn't, wasn't, they certainly were not expecting to feel this connected and this passionate, okay? They're trying to resist it. They were trying to resist it at first because they weren't expecting it, but... They couldn't resist it because they've had it before. But there are three glasses in this scene, so it could be a third-party relationship. Hmm. Second card came up here with strength. So your partner is afraid to be strong. They're afraid, maybe even of your strength. They don't want to have to, they're, they're afraid maybe that they can't handle this, that they, that they don't have the strength in order to make it through this trying, tough time. Because they snuck up on them, they weren't expecting it, and so they, they kind of caught off guard, and now they have to be strong fight for something that they want for the love that they deserve right for the love that they deserve they, they're going to have to be strong in order to get it they have to figure out what they want where they're going to find their peace where they're going to get their tranquility They're afraid that they're going to have to keep struggling and they don't know if they can do it. The last card came up as the star. Star, this is a healing relationship, right? And we know that you have a healing heart. So this relationship is going to be healing for them and you are going to get an opportunity to show just what a healer you are when you heal this person and let them know that they do indeed deserve love and you are the person just going to give it to them that's a star card so this is going to be a new beginning and a bright future. You're going to get what you need. Abundance, riches, opportunities. You're going to get a chance to display your healing talents. Your partner is going to achieve tranquility. They're going to explore their options. And both of you are going to get your wish. Because you deserve love with this person that you've known before. So I'm thinking that this may be some kind of a, a soulmate relationship. A soul relationship uh, could be a twin plane.
because we did get the 11 card here, strength. So, uh, we'll have to look at that further. If you're interested in getting a personal reading, you can shoot me an email at um, tvtow7 at gmail.com. And I guess we could dive further into this situation for you. In the meantime, thank you all so much, and I hope that you enjoy this reading. If it resonates with you, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment if you can. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And even if it doesn't resonate with you, share this video with your friends and family because there may be a message there for someone else. You deserve love. Ooh, the wedding card. Mmm. All right. I'll speak to you all soon. Enjoy your Valentine's Day. All right. Love you all. And I appreciate all of your help and your love and your emails and just your support. Okay? So I'll see you for Love Bites. Enjoy your Valentine's Day. Love you. Bye-bye.